Well, hello. I thought what with all the fantastically hot weather we've had recently, followed by the fantastic rain we've had as well, I thought what better subject to talk about um, than hydration, the importance of water. Now, I did a blog post a while back about, well, rule of health number three, hydration, why it's so important. I mean, 70% of your body is water, so it's very important to keep it hydrated. The most common question I get asked is, is tea or coffee or beer, um, often jokingly with the beer, is that as good as water for keeping my body clean? And I say, well, would you wash the outside of your car or the inside of your car with tea or coffee? The answer is no. Even though it's still lots of water, it's not as good as the pure stuff because your body still has to separate what's in tea to use the water in the way that it wants to inside your cells. Your cells don't require tea, they require water. So, that should answer a lot of questions. If you want water, drink water. However, the best forms of water and the, are the ones that you actually get from organically grown fruits and vegetables because it's also full of minerals, full of enzymes, full of other things that are readily available to use by your cells. And the more fresh fruits and vegetables, i.e. uncooked, that you eat, the less water you need to drink. And on average, you need about a cup of water every hour, or if you're eating lots of raw foods. Um, if you go to the loo once an hour, you're uh, definitely hydrated. If you're going more than that, too hydrated. And if you're going less than that, probably not hydrated enough. So that's my rule of thumb. Please go to the blog post and uh, read all the rest. Bye for now.